Good morning, guys. Ah, good night's sleep. Good night's sleep. Ah, well, got up a little bit earlier than what I expected this morning, but then stayed in bed. Tom woke me up. I think his bladder woke him up. <laughs> Don't you love that? You're nice, enjoying your sleep. You can sleep in, and then suddenly your bladder goes, Nope, you're getting up. You're getting up right now. And you're like, I can go back to bed, but will I fall asleep? Yeah. yeah, but see, today I have work from 12 to 7, so I got that. So there won't be as much vlogging today as I'd like, unless something happens after work. Of course I'll vlog before I go work so you guys can see what I'm wearing, and then vlog after work to let you guys know how it went. But that'll be probably about it today. Uh, we might go to Walmart, because like I said yesterday, Tom's out of cereal. Granted, I don't think he's jumping up and down to have his cereal right now, but I'm about to make my Vaisalus. Got to get myself back into the habit of doing that when I wake up, because I, I got used to, I wake up, I go make my coffee or get my coffee and have a Vaisalus right then. And then come like 11, 12, I would have my second Vaisalus. And then I would usually have dinner probably around like 4 or 5 o'clock, so it worked for me. It's just getting back into that habit, and with my new schedule, it's a little bit tougher. <laughs> it's like, I'll have my Vaisalus now, I'll have a Vaisalus before I go to work, which I'll probably be leaving here about 11.30, so I can get make sure I get there 15 minutes early. And... I think I get a lunch? Because I'll be working seven hours, so I think I get a lunch. Slash dinner. But, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do for then. Oh, I might even vlog then, too. I don't know. We'll have to see what goes on. But yeah, that's the plan for the day today. Uh, of course, my latest vlog is up, so make sure you guys check that one out. Tom also put up a uh, calligraphy vlog on his channel. Well, not a vlog, but a calligraphy uh, practice to see what he could do with recording a calligraphy thing for himself. I might put that link in this video. Because I know I didn't link it in the other one because I didn't mention it because he didn't actually get it uploaded till like last night when I was uploading mine. But yeah, it's basically him practicing his calligraphy. It looks really cool, so you guys should check it out. But yep, time for Vice Alice. Yay! Well, getting ready for work. Wearing pretty much the same thing I wore last time because, well, I only wore it for a couple hours. It's still clean. <laughs> yeah, I'll switch my outfit up every couple days just because I work more often after Thursday so after Thursday it'll be working Friday Saturday Sunday Monday so yeah I can't wear the same thing then. <laughs> but yeah getting ready for work seven hour shift most likely I'll get a lunch so t I only get paid for like six hours of it but we'll see technically if it's slow and I get all my work done they might let me come home early because well if there's nothing else I can do then I'm to go home but not that I'm expecting that or looking forward to that. I'm, I'm just looking forward to going to work and getting paid. But off to work. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm done with work for the day. It went by really good. I had a lot of interesting things going on. I did four case studies. The last one I actually got to do with uh, my boss, and he pretended to be the customer. Went pretty good. He said I'm definitely coming along really well, and he's proud of how well I'm doing so that's good um for lunch I didn't record because I only had a half hour so I just ran to Arby's and grabbed a sandwich <laughs> it was good I enjoyed it uh, I actually had a question posted uh they people want to know more about Tom uh he's my roommate we've been roommates now for what six years seven <laughs> six seven years somewhere in there he's a professor at Shawnee State teaches sociology uh psychology Anthropo not anthropology, he does, he knows anthropology, that's what his master's is in. Um, criminology, uh, aging, what else do you teach, dude? A bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. He just teaches a lot of stuff, but this will be his last semester at Shawnee State because he's going for his PhD, hopefully, uh, come next fall. Um, he's pretty much been adopted by my family, so he's pretty much now my older brother. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> uh, if there's anything else you want to know about him, just let me know and I'll see if he's willing to be on camera once in a while to actually talk about himself. Uh, another question was posted about... Shoot. 
there was something up there. There was something about Tom, something about my ABBA, and there was something else. Do you remember what I said, dude? No, but I can look it up. So you probably have to cut this out. No, 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 I'm not cutting. Uh, about my ABBA, it's basically... <laughs> yeah. Basically think of a Snuggie facing the right direction. <laughs> it faced forward. It has a hood. <sighs> See? Yep. Big hood. Has big sleeves. And it goes all the way down to my feet, so if you're sitting down, you actually can use it as a blanket. Really comfy. Mine's made out of polar fleece. I think Tom's is made out of... Oh, he's not wearing his. Uh, I think Tom has one that's made out of polar fleece, and he has one made out of a... What's the other one made out of? Your blue one? Denim. Denim. So they're really comfy, really easy to make, and, well, I love them. <laughs> I love my ABBA. And, of course, so does Miss Cinder. Don't you, Cinder? You love the ABBA. Yes. Oh, uh, it was my UI people had questions about. Um, pretty much for World of Warcraft, the UI I use is real simple. I use Recount because I, I play a lot of DPS classes, so I like seeing how my DPS is doing. Not because I want to top the meters, but because I want to do the best possible damage for the class I'm on. And it gives you gives me a lot of interesting things. I can see what's doing the most damage, what's missing, what's hitting, what's producing the most damage out of all my attacks, that sort of thing. I When I heal, I like Helium. It's an easier healing mod than uh, Healbot for me because it produces the buttons. It puts the buttons up on the screen next to each one of the uh, people in your party. So it's easy to click them and heal while you're still targeting the boss or targeting something else. Really useful if you're playing a healing class that can actually still do damage, like a priest or shaman, even druid technically, and monk. So I don't know about paladin because I've never done paladin healing. I know they can do damage, but I'm just not a big paladin person. Um, I, I like Altaholic. I have it currently turned off because I'm not playing on alts, but it's a really useful alt, uh, really useful add-on because it allows you to track what's on all of your characters, on all your different servers, on all the different factions, and by simply mousing over an item, you can see who else has that item and how much of it, and if it's located in their bank, in their bag. Really useful for locating your uh, heirloom gear, because a lot of times you'll be like, okay, I forgot where my trinket is, or I forgot where that cape was, or that weapon. And it has a search function, you just open it up, go to items, say you're searching for armor, heirloom quality, and it shows you where they're all at. I know Tom loves it. <laughs> I love it. It's just a really nice app if you have a, not app, um, add-on, if you have a lot of alts. Which I end up having usually in the end. Another one I like is Deadly Boss Mod. I recommend this to everybody, even if you don't raid, because it's useful on normal dungeons, it's useful in PvP, it's just useful all around, because it gives you warnings on when things are coming up, or when things, uh, when you have to get out of something, it does loud noises so you can hear it, puts visuals on the screen, it's, it's a real useful one. Um, I can't think of any other apps that I really use, I... Every once in a while when I decide I want to go rare hunting, I have an app that searches for rares and stuff. I think it's called NPC Finder. But pretty much that's all I use. I don't mess around with the UI that's built into the game that much, even though I have pulled down... I have taken, taken uh, my character screen and the screen that shows your what you're targeting and pulled them down to the center sometimes. That way they're right there where I'm focused at. Right now I don't because I'm not raiding. It's pretty much just something I do for raiding. A lot of people do do it just period because they like having everything centralized. But I like having a open screen when I'm playing. So, But that's my UI. I get all my stuff from uh, Cursed Gaming. They usually check things a lot better. You can see a lot of reviews that find out, yes, this is a good way. Good uh, app to get. It breaks things down for you. 
and you don't have to worry about getting uh, viruses as often by using Curse Gaming. So that's where I recommend getting the stuff from. Uh, let's see, what's going on tomorrow? Tomorrow I have class, so I'll be going to that, so I'll be on campus. We're planning on going to Buffalo Wild Wings because it's 60 cent uh, boneless wing night. And there might be some friends joining us too for that, so that should be fun. Um, I know I don't work tomorrow, but I'll be working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Because they're, they're, they have... I have to be ready by the 25th, because 25th is when everything's going to start piling in. That's when peak season really starts, so I have to be ready for work for that one. I'm trying to consciously not rock in my chair, because I notice it every time I'm editing the video that I'm rocking back and forth, and it's like, no, I need to stop. I need to stop rocking. <laughs> Some people are probably getting motion sickness watching me go back and forth, back and forth. Um, but that's about it. Tom's still playing WoW, but I'm getting ready to go to bed. So I'll be kicking out of, kicking him out of my room. <laughs> um, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I do have some things in here. Let me see. I know I have a light. Show you my toys. Yep. I have a Cindergosa toy. Yeah, I'm using a flashlight right now, so... <laughs> I have my little Lich King statue, <laughs> and a whole bunch of pewter stuff, which, yeah, I'm going to have to get a better light, but what can I say, when my, when your bed is underneath, when your, well, when your computer is underneath your bed, it's going to be dark underneath. I'm not going to show you the rest of my desk because it's a mess, but that's the way I like it. I like the mess. I know Tom doesn't like the mess, but I like the mess. Uh, my room is kind of crowded, that's why I have to have the loft bed, otherwise there would be no room in here whatsoever. Because I've done it before where I have a desk and I have my bed and they're separate, and there's just no room in here for anybody. <laughs> so, that's pretty much it, and yes, there is the strange doll. I know people have seen it. I've only had one person ask about it. I used it, I, I sewed that myself by hand. I did it for a Halloween costume a long time ago. It was part of a marionette costume I made. I actually turned myself into a giant marionette puppet. I actually had the sticks um, that I could I put on my back, but could be raised above me, and the strings were the right length that if somebody was sitting on a chair, they would be perfect for my arms and my legs. I had a hat that covered my eyes with a wig to give it effect. Wore white gloves. And then I carried that puppet around. It was sort of like the marionette puppet carrying around a broken marionette puppet. I got the idea from a video game, Ark of Lad. There's a character on there called uh, Belladonna. And I loved her. She's a ragdoll sort of puppet. And she had a, a change purse on her back. But one of her attacks was puppet strings. And that made me think, it's like, I want a male version of this. And I want to make it a marionette puppet. Went over really well. I wish I had pictures of that costume, but this was before there were, like, camera phones. <laughs> this is back when the Nokia bricks were around. <laughs> yes, I know I'm old, but eh. I don't feel old. And that's the important thing. But yeah, please keep leaving questions. I like answering them. I like having things that I can talk about for a long time on the vlog. And I like letting you guys get to know me. And most of the time I have no idea what you guys know about me. <laughs> uh, so make sure you like, subscribe, leave those comments, leave those questions. I do read them and I will answer them. And I like answering them on the vlog. I will sit there and leave you comments in, uh, uh, on YouTube as well. But I will answer them here too because I can go more into detail on here I feel. But that's pretty much it for the night, so uh, good night, hope you guys had a good day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.